Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. Yes, after 11 or 12 days, I am back with another video, and it is a Teddy Bees Ready to Ship haul. So if you remember, Teddy Bees did a pre-order a few months ago. I ordered a ton of stuff, and I love Tiffany, who's the owner of Teddy Bees. I love her business model where everything that was offered in the pre-order was then offered a few weeks later in a ready to ship plus some extras. I don't understand why some companies who just do pre-orders and then the ready to ship after were like shapes in like a super random sense. Doesn't really make sense. I don't understand that pre-order style, really not a good business model. They also don't include samples, which also don't like. Anyway. Yes, so I have a lot of exciting things from Teddy Bees. It is a big old box, as you can see, full of wax. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I think, just like with everything, I will start with the sample. And the sample is in white balsam. And I was like, oh, Christmas tree, like, not into Christmas tree scents. And I know it's not even Christmas yet, but I'm already over them. But this is nice. The white balsam creates this really crisp and coolness in the fragrance that's almost like, like embodies the entire scene. Like it smells like crisp white fallen snow on a Christmas tree. It's really pretty. And I think this sample will be a really nice one on like Christmas day to melt in the bathroom. So I really like that. Now I purchased chunk bags and loaves from this pre-order. Um, there's a couple repeats from my order, but not a ton. But without further ado, let's start with the chunk bags. So the first chunk bag I got was in Pink Peppermint Circus Cookies. And this says Frosted Circus Sugar Cookies, Pink Sugar, and Sweet Peppermint Candy. Now, I love Teddy Bee's chunk bags. For one, the chunks are beautiful. I love that they're bigger because you can cut them into any size you want. And what I've learned is with Teddy Bee's, less is more with the wax. And I'm obsessed with her chunk bags. Like, I love how thick the polypropylene bags are. It makes such a nice noise. But anyway, I definitely pick up all the pink peppermint. It's like that classic, like every vendor does, like that pink sugar blended with sweet peppermint, which kind of creates like a more body care-esque peppermint with a hint of a sugar cookie. And you can definitely smell the sugar cookie. That is one thing with Teddy Bee's that I've noticed is her wax, you can smell everything in it. All the notes, the blends are super sophisticated, super complex, like I am beyond alarm beyond impressed with Teddy Bee's like Teddy Bee's is definitely in my top vendors and I haven't even really melted much from her but her business style the wax the fragrances everything obsessed next we have peppermint mocha sugar cookies and this is espresso steamed milk chocolate mocha peppermint and frosted sugar cookies I ordered this because I know how much charity loves her peppermint mocha scents and I do too this It smells just like a peppermint mocha turned into a cookie. Because I feel like with a lot of vendors, the sugar cookie scent is kind of lost and it almost creates more of like a creaminess. With Teddy Bee's, the sugar cookie note really comes out and really sings through in the fragrance. So this is like a rich sugar cookie, but made with cocoa powder and then sprinkled with crushed candy canes. It is so, so nice. And a hint, just a hint of coffee. It is a beautiful blend. I love, love that one. Next we have Tree Farm, and Tree Farm is frost-covered Christmas trees standing in rows as far as the eye can see, and the smell of tilted earth. Dirt. So, now, this smells just like the tree farm candle that we all know and love. It's again like the essence of a tree farm. And you get the woodness, of, the woodiness of the branches, you get the balsam fir, you get the, um, the dirt, you get everything in the scent. Such a good one for the week of Christmas when it's really, really, really cold outside. You're not leaving the house, but you just want to smell something 
really sophisticated and green. I really like that tree scent. Now this one, I was like in and out, should I get it, should I not? And it is Tiff's favorite bakery. And Tiff is Tiffany, the owner, and it says blackberry jam, vanilla shortbread cookies, brown sugar, and waffle cone. And I was hesitant on this one because blackberry jam is like not my favorite scent, but whenever the blackberry jam oil is in this, is so juicy. Like I swear, if I take one of these chunks and squeeze it, juice is gonna come out. It's the juiciest blackberry. So juicy, so realistic. And I'm not, vanilla shortbread cookies, brown sugar, and waffle cone, it just really creates this like, really rich bakery blackberry scent. Oh, it's so it is so good. This is like one of my sad day scents. Like if I'm not feeling the best, having a little sad day, popping this in my warmers, it's like a happy scent for me. Next we have Trickin' and Treatin'. Kind of some different colors in here. And this is purple sugar, which is a mix of pink and blue sugar. Pink sugar is like a floral, or like a pinky, delicious, perfumey scent. And then blue sugar is like it's men cologne dupe so or uh counterpart i should say so it's sort of like a masculine cologne fruity scent beach treats which is her beach nights and vanilla cake pops I love, I love this i don't necessarily think i smell blue sugar or pink sugar like more than one or more over the other i should say her beach treats, like Danny says, is so good. It's like a toasty marshmallow, salty sea air. But vanilla cake pops really sings through in this scent. It's so yummy. It's like, it's like a really rich vanilla cake pop scent. That's really what I get from it. That's like covered in like crystallized sugar. Mm, it is so yummy. There's really not one in this box that I'm not a fan of. I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples. Now this was my sample in my last order, and this is I Heart Vanilla blended with juicy apples, cinnamon, clove, and vanilla bean. It sounds like sort of basic, but when I smell this, I immediately get apple for sure. Oops, but it's kind of so. What I I picture a dessert when I smell this. Obviously, I'm a big foodie, so I picture foods when I smell it, but I picture you're at a fancy restaurant, okay, so hear me out. You're at a fancy restaurant, sorry, my like glasses keep falling on my nose. All right, you're at a fancy restaurant. The apple is cored, sliced, skinned. It's baked for hours, slow and low, with cinnamon and sugar and all those great baked goods, and then on top of vanilla ice cream. So whenever you take that baked apple and you scoop it with that vanilla ice cream, you get the coldness of the vanilla ice cream, you get the warmth of the apple, combined together, chef's kiss. And this scent is chef's kiss. It's so, so good. But if you don't like apple cinnamon, don't be scared of the blend, because I feel like the vanilla in it really takes over, and it really creates, like, a dessert. It's fabulous. Witches be crazy. Everybody talks about this. I'm so glad I got my hands on it. I don't know why I didn't order it during the first time, but this is birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and a pinch of cinnamon spiced vanilla. Now to me, it just smells like a more creamy version of pumpkin pecan waffles, which I don't hate. I love pumpkin pecan waffles. And I just feel like it's a little bit more cakey pumpkin pecan waffles, which makes sense because the blend also has a birthday cake and sugar cookie dough. I don't necessarily smell cinnamon spice vanilla, but that's okay. I, I definitely get a like much more rich baked pumpkin pecan waffles. And even though it falls over, there's never not a good time for pumpkin pecan waffles. 
crushed candy cane and Christmas trees and cream. I'm so excited to get this, especially in chunk bags, because when you get layered in a souffle, you don't necessarily smell that bottom layer unless you take the souffle out, and that drives me crazy. So for this, to have the Christmas trees and cream here and the crushed candy cane on top. So it says, fresh pine boughs, vanilla sugar waffle cone, and rich vanilla buttercream layered with crushed candy canes. So her Christmas trees and cream is like a very, very creamy, creamy Christmas tree. And then crushed candy cane is just that, a crushed candy cane. I'm definitely picking up more on crushed candy cane, and that's because obviously peppermint is way stronger than Christmas tree. But the Christmas trees and cream I did get on its own in my last video, and it's so yummy. I'm not hating this at all. I love this. I think this is a great Christmas scent. This is my type of Christmas tree scent. Douse in other things, so it's not just straight up Christmas tree. Love. Super impressed. Pink Embers. I mainly got this because of the name, I'll be honest. But it's pink sugar, sugar cookies, peppermint, vanilla, and marshmallow fireside. Now for me, marshmallow fireside in blends doesn't necessarily come across as much. It's more of like a blender. I really pick up on smoky. I really get a smokiness from this. And I don't know if it's my mind playing tricks on me because it says embers, but I'm really picking up on a more like smoky woodiness mixed with the pink sugar. That's really what I'm getting. It's like a really smoky, smoky woody pink sugar. And I'm not mad about it. I'm, I really like this one. I think this will be a good bedtime scent, a good relaxing scent that's not the typical peppermint or lavender. So really, really like that one. Continuing on with the chunk bags, I have two more. I got Over the Hill and Through the Woods, and this was because of Danny. And this is Christmas, Christmas, Christmas trees and cream blended with warm apple cider. Now, it does not smell exactly like Christmas trees and cream, which obviously because it's not. Look at the size of this chunk. I love. But the apple cider, it's not super, super heavy on it. It's just like an essence mixed with the Christmas trees and cream that takes it to like the next level. It's really, really nice. I think this will be a great one to melt on like a day that you know you're gonna be in and out of the house and every time you walk in you're like oh, it smells so good in here last pb and j i had to get it because everybody talks about it fresh made jam peanut butter toasted bread and drizzled honey now it says bath and body works type I do not remember this candle. I was during the time when the Bath and Body Works, I was not buying from them, and I just never smelled the candle, so I don't have anything to compare. I'm going to paint a picture in your head. Okay, for one, I'm the type, I actually love this. PB&J, I don't think. You know, whenever you're a kid, and you take toast, and you put butter and cinnamon sugar on it, and it's like the best treat it at whenever you're craving something sweet. To me, this is that, but take cinnamon sugar away and put honey on it. This smells like a really sweet, almost like a brioche bread, because I do get a sweet bread. I know it says like what toasted bread, doesn't really say what type of bread, but it smells like a toasted brioche bread with creamy butter that's all melted inside and drizzled with the best raw honey. That's what it smells like. I don't get peanut butter. I don't get jelly. I get like, like a honey toast. I don't hate it at all. I actually really, really like it. But I will say, not what I expected. Wish I got more than one chunk bag of this. So if anybody doesn't like their PB&J, I will take it. I really like it. All right. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, seven loaves. A few were from my old order, my, my last order that I wanted and more. So I'll start with those first. The first one is I smell fall. I know it's not really fall, but believe me, this will be safe for next year or whenever I'm really craving fall and wax. And this is Cider Lane, Pecan Waffles, and Marshmallow Fireside. You know how much I love my Cider Lane. 
And I love this. It's like rich, gooey caramel apple with smoky, smoky wood and delicious pumpkin pecan waffles, which can do no wrong. I love, I smell fall. Such a good, this is going to be a classic fall scent for me every year. Next we have Winterfell, and this is Marshmallow Fireside, Palo Santo, White Birch, Icy Snow, and Vanilla. And I love this because of the White Birch. That's what I smell the most. This is like the essence of a winter day. When you go out and the snow's fresh, it hasn't been stepped on, the trees are covered in snow, but they're birch trees, so like you're in the middle of a forest. So good. I don't pick up on Palo Santo that much in here, which is not a problem, but I love. Probably the most shocked I was from the last order was the Riverlands. Palo Santo, Cool Mountain Air, Balsam, Patchouli, Crisp Melon, Cedar, Crunchy Leaves, and Sandalwood. This, when I smelled this in my last order... It smells like you're walking through a wet, wet forest. I don't know what it is, but I love this. I literally, and I love the colors. I just love this. Like, I can't even tell you what I'm necessarily smelling the most. It's definitely really, really, like, green and clean and, like, aquatic, but... It smells like you're walking through a wet forest, like a rainforest. That's all I can describe this as. It's it's amazing. It's it's literally incredible. I'm so happy that I picked this up in bigger sizes. It's so good. And that's one that every time she pours it, I need more. And then the last one of the ones that I've had before is Bad Santa. And this is Vanilla Birch Fireside and Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. And I love this because... I pick up on the vanilla birch, and then as I continue to smell, I get the fireside, and then as I'm smelling them all and my nose is doing the happy dance, just a hint of that boardwalk marshmallow clouds comes through. So it's a little like a sweet marshmallow. So good. So good. And then onto the three loaves that are new to me. First we have Tiff's favorite lavender, and Teddy B's is known for their lavender because Tiffany loves lavender. And this is lavender, sweet marshmallows, and vanilla coconut milk. It's not that I'm not a fan of lavender, it's just something I don't really gravitate towards. So if it's there, yeah, I'll like find other blends that I like more. But now I tend to be like, it's nighttime, I kind of want a lavender scent to go to bed. And this smells like like a like a like a really like a like a like a like a really soothing baby lavender bubble bath. And I think that's mainly because of the coconut milk too. It's like very creamy and sweet. And the lavender's a little herbal. I, I, I also have a hard time determining which lavender's which, but to me it does smell a little bit more herbal than super sweet lavender. I think this will be a great sweet dreams blend. I am going right through these. And then we have a Small Town Circus, which is caramel apples, kettle corn, funnel cakes, and cinnamon sugared pretzels. I just love a caramely, like, um, circus scent. I pick up on pretzel, 100%. And it's that salty, hard pretzel, not the crazy, yeasty pretzel. I smell a little caramel apple, not crazy though, not super caramely or apple-y, but like not cider lane either. And then kettle corn, slowly in the background. Not like some kettle corns that literally smell like buttered popcorn. This does smell like kettle corn, like true kettle corn. Oh, and I'm here for it. It's really good. And then last but not least, I can't believe I didn't order this during my last order. Strawberry fudgery. I love strawberry, and this is strawberry pound cake, vanilla butter fruit, vanilla, vanilla butter fudge. It's late. I need to go to bed. And patisserie. Vanilla butter fudge is so good. It just like, it makes everything like melt in your mouth. That's what that smells like. Like it's like melt in your mouth, delicious strawberry. 
like if you had a strawberry fudge. I I can't get enough. This haul just brought me so much joy into my life. It's been to say a hell of a week or a hell of a two weeks or a hell of a month. <laughs> Work is horrible right now. Like I swear I get home at like two in the morning and I have to be back at like 9 a.m. and I just feel like I don't even sleep. <laughs> I wake up in the morning and I'm like, did I even sleep? Like, I haven't been melting wax. I haven't done anything. I have been super good and disciplined and going to the gym. And whew, believe me, it is kicking my ass. But it's the only thing that's bringing me joy right now. And the gym is really hard. It's really hard. Especially for someone who doesn't feel the best about themselves. If, if you're done with the haul, it's over. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Click that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload. Anyway, I just feel like it's so hard to stay motivated in a world like this. And it's so hard to stay motivated when, like, my work is stressful. And it's only stressful because we just don't have help. And everybody's going through that. And it's not, you don't understand it until you're living it that, yeah, you really don't have help. And in a place where I work, like, the people are still coming. The people are coming more than ever. And we just don't have the help. And it, it really is hard. So my cats bring me joy. My wax brings me joy. And so does the gym. And for someone who really struggles with self-confidence, because I look at these guys at the gym that are buff and built and super fit, and I'm just like, I still like pizza. <laughs> And I don't know. It's It's been really, really hard. Um, I've been going six days a week for, I think it's almost two months now. The diet is still like, I work retail. It's really hard. But um, I've been doing better. You know, I still cry a lot. Um, but that's my own things that I have to get through. And yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to be sad. You know, things in life are sad. You know, people hurt you. People are not always there for you like you thought they were. I don't want to get into that, but I just want to say how much I love you guys. How much, like, me time really truly means to me now because I give so much at work that when I am done with work, I just want to spend time with myself going to the gym, filming these videos, deciding what I want to melt to make my house smell amazing for just me, for nobody else. And the people that I choose to spend my time with outside of work are, like, super special to me. So if you're watching and I spend time with you or talk to you on the phone or anything, just know you are special and you mean so much to me. Because it's all that I have left to give right now. And I love you guys so much. So before I start to cry, have a good night. And if I don't see you before... Have a happy holiday and a Merry Christmas. Love you.